welcome to the second video. In this video, I'd like to show you how to get creative with all the things we just covered in the first video. Now it's time to get creative. When people ask me, how do you approach this topic? I would say you need to act like a little child. You need to start doodling around, messing around with things, and you will start coming up with ideas. And these ideas you develop, you can practice them, you can sort of combine ideas. And what I like to do in this setting with the electric instrument, my amp and my effect pedal, I like to add a loop station with which I can record myself. The most important thing when we're talking about looping is your timing. Since you're going to start the loop at a very specific time and you're going to end it at a very specific time, you need to fill up the space in between with a very regular beat. And so the very first exercise I would recommend is start with just that. I've got a metronome here. I'm going to put this to a tempo of 40 beats per minute, like this. And the first thing is when I have this beat, I want to hear the subdivisions inside to make this, you know, well, basically my goal is to set up this inside of myself so I think can then transfer it to my loop. Okay, so I'm hearing the da 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 This is the subdivision or the 16th notes. I've now, as you've noticed, got this on beat one. What we normally do in, let's say, jazz or pop music is we put this on beat two, which gives us... So the first step, what I'd practice is to actually just clap with this to get this sort of locked into your body. And this is not... This is not that simple. Or if I take the click on two and four, I'll do this, okay? So my count internally is one, two, three, four, one, and two. This is basically what the drummer is doing in a band, right? Good. After I practice this, I will try and put together my loop according to this beat. The first thing I would like to record is a bass figure. The bass in a band sort of acts as the anchor, but also the instrument that I would say grooves the most, makes the groove in a band. And I'll start very simple. Let's say we're in the key of C, and I would like to have a very simple progression. I'll, t I'll go from the one chord to the four chord, which means I'll go from the key, in the key of C, I'll go from a C to an F, okay? Now, together with my metronome, I'm gonna try and put this together to a bass figure. So here's my C, here's my F. One bar of C, one bar of F. And I'm just going to practice this until this starts grooving. Oops. And this is my practice process. I'm not recording anything yet. I'm just trying to get this bass right. Okay. Next step, I'm really going to take you step by step as I practice activating my loop with this. So it's one, two, three, Four, step, two, three, four, step, two, three, four, step, two, three, four, step. Let's put the two together. This is what I meant with messing around. You can now start filling the bass line out. You hear these little fills I'm playing? Don't overload it, keep it simple. Activating the loop. Good. Got my loop set up. Next I'm going to add some rhythm. This is a technique called chopping. I'm not going to cover this simply because there are a lot of videos on YouTube. If chopping is too difficult for you, you could also use your instrument to, let's say, create some kind of rhythmic pattern with it. But as I said, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to chop on the two and the four. You notice I'm constantly adjusting my volume with the volume pedal down here. If I did it like this, it would be too loud. So I'm adjusting this with my foot to get the right volume. 
activating the loop. Okay, you notice I've now got two of my components. I've got rhythm and bass. Next, I'm going to add harmony. Harmony is something you might have to jot down on a piece of paper. I would start with the very basic notes of the chord. We have a C chord and an F chord, and I would use the triad. So the C triad is this. F triad is this. Okay, let's harmonize these notes. I'll take it very simple, no double stops. I'm not going to record myself, I'm always going to practice this. By the way, one of the things I like to think in is just rhythms, because what I'm doing right now is I'm setting up a rhythmic band feel. So I'm going to think of a ryth rhythmic pattern in my mind, like... And then I'm going to take my chord tones with this rhythm. It's a little too loud. Next chord tone. You hear I have all the three components. I have the bass figure, I have the drums, and I've got something like a keyboard or a guitar. And this is actually very simple to do. However, it's not that easy to do, so you're going to have to practice it for a while. So I would take a lot of time for each step. Stay with the bass figure for five minutes until it really works well. You could also play the bass with the bow, by the way. Then I go to the chopping. I really wait till I get this nicely. Then I go to the next figure. You're going to get better and better at this, and basically I'm going to get quicker at this so you can set this up live in front of an audience. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to play over this.